What's up, everybody? This is Autopilot Beats. Uh, um, I had messed up my uh, other video, my uh, previous video, and uh, and I uh, I was redirecting out to uh, what part um on how to go about the right way to uh, arm your track into the folder. So let's get right to it. Uh, I uh, had a break. I had a break in the in the link of a stream of videos to kind of fix everything and I noticed uh, it's throwing people off like one guy comments like what the hell anyhow let's get right to it what I left off in the other video so w w with landing so we got process and landing right here process and landing and we already know that process is routed to landing so the, the correct way to arm it you would right click over this floppy disk icon not left click right click and you would go to the folder and the folder that you're gonna save it into so we're gonna act like we're gonna act like this the, this right here life we're gonna act like life is the folder we're gonna uh, save all our vocal takes in it's you know the folder itself is is gonna be named whatever song you're doing whatever name of the song you're doing like it'll say file name uh, you know the name of the song and you save it into it the other video was kind of streaming along showing you what's up but this is how you go about making sure everything goes into that folder. So we right click, we go to the to the directory that we want our vocal takes to go in to. That way everything stays short and sweet and simple, and nothing's all segmented in different subdirectories. Okay, and uh, I believe I was talking about uh, process. I call it process because we're borrowing what we're doing. We're borrowing the CPU for uh, the gate, the compression, and if you want to turn on the stereo image effect, of course, the Ozone 4, just for the stereo image effect. Create a nice little, you know, fatter sound while you're recording your people. But, um, you don't, uh, you know, I, I, I know y'all see me stun the Ozone 4 plugin a lot. Um, you don't have to have it. I just really prefer to use it a lot. You know, I use it a lot. And, um, so that that's what's going on with that uh so we got the track armed and it's in its directory and uh that's uh autopilot beat saying comment rate subscribe i hope i caught everything oh oh i remember now i remember now um sorry about that after you arm the track you have to make sure that when you press record you're gonna have a dialog box pop up it'll show you like record automation record into the playlist and like two other options I forgot what the options are I'm not gonna try to remember what they are um, what you want to do is you want to click on the don't show this again it, it, it says something like that uh, you click on that and then you just go to the top right top right of the dialog box and you just X out of it that way the tracks stay armed um and uh, that should be it uh you know you, you you can just speed through your uh your projects and uh, you ain't gonna Worry about having to keep rearming and rearming and rearming. Now, say uh, you do um, accidentally click automation and all that. You did that prior to before watching this video. Uh, the way I know about reversing that, because I don't really know how to do it while this program's installed. Uh, all, all I, the way I know how to reverse it is you uninstall the program and reinstall it again. You don't. The plugins don't fall out of place, believe it or not. The plugins still are in there. It just the, the actual FL Studio program resets everything, so you could set it to where you can click on that dialog box and don't show this again option and just X on out. That way everything stays on. That's the only way I know how to reverse it. So that's Autopilot Beats saying comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.